Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Where to look on Max 4 Sister Wives, Talk Back Episodes Fans of Sister Wives have definitely been excited to see, or in some cases, rewatch, the Talk Back episodes that came on following season 18. It was difficult for a lot of fans to obtain these episodes after they were first broadcast. However, the wait is over as they can now be found on Max. Even if a lot of Sister Wives viewers saw the original broadcast, it's still enjoyable to revisit certain scenes occasionally. Similarly, a few fans have been searching for alternatives ever since they were unable to see it on the scheduled air date. The episodes were definitely hot. It's definitely interesting and illuminating as Cody, Robin, Mary, Janelle, and Christine watch snippets of season 18 episodes and react. Mary's close friend Jen Sullivan also participated in the review with her. Many fans were dissatisfied by the limited availability, even if they were thrilled to see all the incentives following season 18. After the shocking climax of the season featuring the dismemberment of the multiple family, fans had a few ways to learn a little bit more about the Brown family. Initially, viewers could view the four tell-all segments hosted by Suki Krishnan. Some juicy details are revealed by the tell-alls. After that, fans may view even more by watching the Talk Back and Look Back programs. In addition, viewers may see a two-part wedding special featuring David Woolley and Christine Brown. But at the time, Sister Wives Talk Back and Look Back episodes weren't generally accessible. The fact that these were excluded from the Max subscription infuriated a lot of fans. Some managed to work around the shortfall, but others were left in the dark. However, the Talk Back episodes from the Sister Wife series are now available online to Max users. When they discovered that Max has the choice to watch the eagerly anticipated Talk Back episodes, many Sister Wives fans on Reddit exulted. Talk Backs Part 1 and 2, now on Max, exclaims one user. Well, the title kinda says it, the speaker continues. Since they originally aired, I haven't had access to these, because I don't have Discovery Plus. I'm eager to watch the OG3 kick Robin and Cody in the ass once more. While some Sister Wives fans were thrilled to hear that these episodes were now available, others were unaware that they had been for some time. If you are looking for them, a Max subscription can find these priceless talkback pearls by going to the season listing of the show and choosing extras for season 18. Regarding the availability of the talkback episodes, fans shared their opinions. Many thanks. I was wondering if I would get to view these, because I've been watching on Max, and am only now at season 17. We appreciate you informing us of this. I laughed so hard at the beginning of the episode when Robin's angry face appeared. I literally finished watching season 18 minutes ago. Thus, I appreciate you sharing. Look Back appears to still be unavailable, despite the fact that Max is offering all 18 seasons of Sister Wives in addition to the tell-alls, talkbacks, and wedding special from season 18. After the death of her son Garrison, Sister Wife star Janelle Brown writes on Mother's Day, describing it as emotional. In addition to discussing her first Mother's Day without her son Garrison Brown, Janelle Brown also talks about the destined delicious treat she made in his memory. The 55-year-old mother of six and sister wives actress shared a heartfelt snapshot of a delicious-looking strawberry rhubarb pie she prepared from scratch on Instagram on Monday. She captioned the post as a bittersweet homage to her late son. She started her message by saying, Mother's Day was surprisingly emotional for me. Simply put, I've never really celebrated holidays. Every day, my children make me feel unique and have always shown up for me particularly since they grew up to be self-sufficient individuals and stopped living at home. Adding, but this year was different, Janelle, a mother of Logan, 29, Madison, 27, Hunter, 27, Gabriel, 22, and Savannah, 19, said. Janelle and her former spouse, Cody Brown, suffered the suicide death of their fourth child together in March. After receiving a phone from Garrison's younger brother, Gabriel, the Flagstaff Police Department confirmed in a statement to E.T. at the time that they were called to his apartment and discovered him dead. Janelle, who has kept her followers informed on social media about her journey, 
including her first birthday and Easter without Garrison, claims that the Mother's Day pie she made was a secret since all the ingredients went together perfectly and it just so happened to be Garrison's favorite. I felt the pain so close to the surface, the entire weekend. And when I cooked this easy pie, it felt really meaningful, the author wrote. Our strawberry picking excursion combined with the fact that I randomly found rhubarb at the local farmer's market made it feel like this pie was destined. Strawberry rhubarb is a huge favorite at our house, and maybe Garrison loved it more than anyone else, Janelle went on. This resulted in this pie tasting a little bittersweet. The mother and reality TV personality concluded her post by stating, I love you honey, and miss you every day. The medical examiner's autopsy report, which E.T. was able to obtain just last week, determined that Garrison's cause of death was suicide due to a gunshot wound to the head. The sister-wife's actress's blood alcohol level, BAL, was as high as 0.370%, according to the report, and alcohol poisoning, or ethanol intoxication, is thought to have played a role in her demise. The University of Rochester states that an individual with a BAL of 0.3% or more is considered to be in a stupor and has little comprehension of where you are. The level of surgical anesthesia is also 0.35% or higher in the BAL. At this point, you may quit breathing. Janelle used her own birthday, which she celebrated in early May, a few weeks after Garrison's 26th birthday, to rediscover nature and take up gardening again. Maddie and I have huge ideas for a garden because we will be spending a lot of the summer in North Carolina with Maddie, Caleb, and the kids. In an Instagram post, she said, I am excited to learn how to grow veggies in a climate that has such a long season and way more moisture than I'm used to. The TLC personality shared a stunning picture from a beach in North Carolina where she was visiting with her daughter and grandchildren, indicating that she also spent Easter with Maddie. The eldest daughter of Janelle, Maddie, wed Caleb Brush in 2016. Together, they have three children, Axel, age 6, Evangeline, age 4, and Josephine, age 1. Happy Easter everyone! Photos were captioned by Janelle. This year, I've been even more appreciative of my faith. The recall of the Redeemer and the promise of everlasting life. Janelle Brown opened up about her first Mother's Day without son Garrison Brown. Mother's Day was surprisingly emotional for me. It just never has been a big holiday for me. My children have always shown up for me and made me feel special every day, the Sister Wives star, 55, wrote via Instagram on Monday, May 20. Especially since they became independent adults and weren't home all the time. But this year was different. In addition to Garrison, Janelle is the mother of Logan, 29, Madison, 27, Hunter, 27, Gabriel, 22, and Savannah, 19, who she shares with ex-husband Cody Brown. Earlier this year, the Brown family suffered a major tragedy when Garrison died by suicide at age 25. All weekend I felt the grief so close to the surface. And it was especially poignant when I made this simple pie, Janelle continued. Our strawberry picking excursion combined with the fact that I randomly found rhubarb at the local farmer's market made it feel like this pie was destined.